Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Najima Kenthisu and if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, so I've been gone for a while, you know. Exams got me in their clutches, but uh, I'm back. And, but I'm not here to talk about demonic things. Anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about my five favorite series to watch because really everybody knows I don't do anything else. Okay, so I uh, I feel like I'm the perfect person to talk about this. If you want to find out my five favorite series, continue watching and give this a big thumbs up and subscribe, guys. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into the video. So number one is The Resident. So The Resident follows a group of residents in a hospital, follows them into this world of medicine that sort of like a business you know like you know most of these medical shows that you watch are about saving lives and like dramatic um uh, uh, surgeries and things like that and people dying and but this um series sort of focuses on like the dark side of medicine you know the side where there's you know insurance fraud and not every um a, a, a doctor is the good guy and things like that they not all of them want the best for their patients and it's just it's so different I, I like like one of my favorite characters i love the way that she's portrayed her, her name is dr mina and she's a black woman um and uh she's uh, an immigrant from nigeria and i just sort of like the way they've made her like she's sort of like obviously the smartest like she's the most gifted surgeon in the building okay and um she sort of has like this thing but like she knows she's good you know but also they've they've made her vulnerable i like that i don't like when they make especially women of color and black women they make them sort of like ha ah, ha ah, you know like all the time all the time it's just not realistic and sort of like and i like how they make like her romantic life sort of shows her vulnerability and things like that and it's so dope because in the beginning you're like damn she's quite harsh and then you know she finds a little love in her life and she just blossoms i love the character her character development and yeah and on to number two number two is manifest the, the manifest is about uh this plane that goes missing for five years yeah i think it was five years uh, yeah in tw 2013 and then they come they they arrive in 2018 and they did not know that they were missing for five years plot line is good it's so good and um they sort of like have like these intriguing powers and these intriguing things that are happening to them that they don't understand and they all need to figure it out and it's just it's so incredible I, I love it it's so original the only thing though right that's glaring is the acting okay it's a little just just a little over acting you know like you know actors who are trying to act like just relax relax thanks number three is lucifer so lucifer is about the original fallen angel um who decides to abandon hell and go to la to live his life basically commit all the sins possible and one day there's a a, a murder that happens just outside his uh, his nightclub and that's where he meets this detective and he and, and he finds like this detective is just like a a, a good-hearted person you know obviously he's the devil he's seen like the worst of humankind and so he gets intrigued by her and then they start working together like solving crimes and things like that and i really like the idea of sort of like him learning to be more human like i literally binge watched three seasons of it and now i'm like stuck and it's coming back in 2019 I'm like can i have more please and so yeah it's so great it's a four number four is the good place now the good place is really one of the most wittiest series i've ever watched it is so dope it was recommended to me by a friend and i was like i don't know and i watched it also i binge watched it as well and it is so great oh my god and so basically it is about this this lady this lady eleanor shellstrop who dies and finds herself in the good place okay heaven and so she's shocked that she is in the good place because she was a little problematic let's put it that way okay so you know she soon realizes that they've made a mistake and they've um chose and they've put her in the wrong place she wasn't supposed to be in the good place she was supposed to be in the bad place so because she doesn't belong in the good place you know 
every time she does something bad in the good place like it crumbles like something happens and so basically and in the good place you have a soulmate so her soulmate is chidi and chidi helps her to be good so you know people won't suspect that she's not supposed to be there and it's it's so incredible the plot twist guys wow like when you like you're watching you're like oh my god like ah oh. you know she mustn't be discovered like you're rooting for her and then like the, when the plot twist comes your head will be spinning like it is so lovely i like it it's so different and the the and they they um reference beyonce so you know it's a good show <laughs> it's so like light-hearted you know um from all the like intense series that i usually watch so definitely recommend last but not least a new amsterdam new amsterdam is um focused around a doctor dr Matt goodman and he uh, is the new medical director of the oldest the, america's oldest public hospital and so he's come with like like he's like this charming brilliant doctor and he's come with like these new ways like he wants to make this this um uh, 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 he wants to like take new amsterdam to where it used to be like a great um a hospital and so you know the hospital they don't really believe it because you know people have um you know come before him and they've said this and they underfunded understaffed underappreciated so he's got a lot of work to do and i like it because it's not just surrounding him like obviously he's the main he's the lead and so you know a lot of things focusing but also about like his staff and their interactions with each other it's mostly that like sort of like a look into public hospital a good the good place and lucifer are the only two shows that are on like their third season the rest of the series are quite new um released this year so if you want to watch them you should i recommend every single one you didn't like at least one of these series on this list okay, so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up comment if you have a series of your own i'm always looking for the next big best thing because i my life is sad and i have nothing else to do so guys uh tell your moms your dads your friends your anybody who can get to the internet you tell them to watch my videos and subscribe see you guys in the next one bye